<sighs> old man sitting down <laughs> welcome to another episode of be good to yourself in November every day for 30 days um, I'm giving you some suggestions that you can do to prioritize yourself today it's gonna be very simple it's a meditation obviously I love nature so I know I'm recording this in August so it will very likely be much colder in November but nothing beats doing meditations and just relaxation in nature. I understand if you're watching this and it's bloody freezing, put the heating on, you pay for it <laughs> and you just do it from home. So when it comes to meditation, there's a million and one ways to meditate. There are meditations where you go on journeys so you can have conversations with your guides. There are meditations where you um, manifest, if that makes sense. And maybe the hardest ones are those where you do nothing. The hardest thing is to quieten the mind oftentimes. And a very easy way is to always have your feet firmly on the ground, always, so you're grounded that way, right? So you have your feet firmly on the ground just to be grounded, on the ground to be grounded. <laughs> and then all you need to do is to sit comfortably Take a deep breath. I always take a deep breath from the solar plexus to the throat, like this. Then I stop breathing for a second, and then I exhale with a f sound, because the f sound means that you're using the air in the abdomen, not the lungs. So I'll just show this to you. So you go, you sit properly, you plant your feet on the ground, you know, get that grounding going, and then you go. And you do this maybe twice, maybe three times, until you feel you're getting calmer. So I do this again. And then you do nothing, which is the hard part. But my, my suggestion is, my advice is to maybe have your hands on something that can also ground you, right? Because your solar plexus energy, right, your trust, has a pressure point in the middle of your palm so if you have your palm somewhere um, that support you just like the feet support you it is easier to manifest especially when, uh, sorry to meditate especially when you're new to this and then you just try and think of nothing now remember that may not work the first time around but if you just learn to sit eventually you understand there's nothing I need to do and then by default because you're getting calmer your breathing is getting calmer so if you don't quite know how to do it, you just start somewhere. There is no right or wrong. The only thing that is wrong is when you close your eyes and then you think about, oh, have I paid this, have I have done this? This is where you have to understand this. It's not a meditation when your brain is still active, if that makes sense. So the hardest part will always be to learn to not think, to not overthink, to let things go, right? And in a meditation, which is different to a journey, we're not asking for guidance. We are asking for a respite. We are asking for um, calmness, right? So with the intention of, I'm just doing this for my own sanity, for my own relaxation. You put your feet firmly on the ground. You have your, feet, your hands somewhere that supports them. You take a deep breath. And then you just sit. And when you're in nature, it's so much nicer. And if you do struggle, you could play some music in the background, right? But I would advise you to play music that is not with lyrics, so you're not getting carried away, uh, or there's no other things coming in, uh, so you can't be triggered by the lyrics. So instrumental music uh, is good. And if you are a person that normally relaxes by listening to heavy, to heavy metal, this is the video for meditation. This is not the video for playing for playing air guitar, <laughs> right? So this is not that exercise. So the idea is to, you don't need anything to do meditation, but if you struggle, play instrumental music, right? That is still a distraction to a certain extent, but sometimes it allows you to focus on something. For the most part, that's all you need to do, and this is probably the hard part, is to just allow yourself to be.
and that concludes the episode. I'm going to love you and leave you now. But it is not a difficult thing. The hardest thing is for you to learn to stop that mind from chattering and from chatting. So therefore, you might have to do this numerous times, but hey, who's to stop you? Right? That's all we have time for. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time.